Hello everyone, it is Sister Mary. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. Hello to everyone out there. Brothers and sisters and those who are listening, today is Tuesday, November the 21st, 2017. So um, I will try to remember to say Happy Thanksgiving on Thursday, but Happy Thanksgiving in case I don't do that. Uh, God bless you all. God bless us all. And I want to bring to you what the Holy Spirit has been saying. I'm not bringing you an entire message that I'm having to read uh, from a book, from my journal. I am bringing you things that I have heard in my spirit today. And the Lord says, first of all, that this is the calm before the storm. Now, this is not the first time that he has said this, but we are talking about things that have already been prophesied. Hallelujah. The Lord says that those things will come to pass and they will come to pass quickly. The next thing the Holy Spirit said today was to stay prepared. While everybody is going to and fro and doing Christmas shopping and getting ready for Thanksgiving, do not forget about the words that have already been prophesied. Hallelujah. Listen to these words very carefully. The Lord has told me that this is a season of His return, that this is the time that we are going to be pressed on each side. You are battling uh, not only with fatigue, the Holy Spirit is speaking about fatigue right now, me included. I absolutely feel like I don't have a lot of energy and I don't know what it is. Um, I also know that there is a great spiritual warfare going on right now where the believer is being falsely accused of what they are saying to the unbeliever. Spiritual warfare, families against each other, unforgiveness, bitterness. People are sick in body right now. The Lord has given us authority over all these things. If you have ought against anyone, including your family members, a brother, a sister in Christ, anybody that you work with, even an unbeliever, make recompense right now while you can. Do not sh harbor any ill will or hard feelings towards anyone during this time. Things are going to come to pass very quickly. The Holy Spirit is reminding me, again, the calm before the storm. Do not let your focus get off the path of where we are. We, the body of Christ, are going forward. We're pressing toward the mark, not toward the mark of eternal life, which we are, salvation, but we've already accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, but we're pressing on. And what I'm trying to say, say to you in the Spirit is that there are going to be those that you love and that you care about, that you've talked to. The Lord is saying right now, it is time to rise up, walk away from that, shake the dust off the carpet, dust your clothes off, and go forward. The Lord is saying right now, go forward. Go forward in this time. Pray and seek Him daily. Read His Holy Word because it is going to be used as a sword. Do not think, body, that we are escaping before some things that are still coming. I cannot believe that the Holy Spirit has put it on my heart to prepare with water, to prepare for the at least 30 days worth of food, uh, coal oil lamps and lamps, uh, the oil for the lamps, having matches. The Lord is telling me that these things are still coming and that we need to be prepared as the body, that we are going to be leading many to uh, him during this time. The Lord has told me today, do not put your trust in man. Do not rely on what you are hearing on the news. This is all a, a way to get us away from what is really going on. There is a bigger agenda. It is by the Antichrist. It is by Satan. And these things are coming to play. There are rumors of war. But believe me, war is soon to come and hit America. Do not think, America, that you are the great and that you are not going to fall. You are your sin. The sin and the filth and the stench has reached the Lord's nostrils. 
the filth of sin, the stench that rises up from this earth, unrepentant, unholiness. It is uh, the word savored has entered my spirit right now. It is, it is like darkness is salivating over this earth right now. I don't know what it is in other countries, but I know what it is in the United States of America. And if you are watching any of your uh, young YouTube, I watched a Taylor Swift YouTube video recently. I do not listen to Taylor Swift, but she is from Tennessee. I live in Tennessee. Be very aware that there are demonic influences right now. Heavy. It is in the music. It is in the television programming. And if you are lost, you do not see it. But the children of light, the children of that are born again, spirit-filled, we're the body. We're the ones that are leading you to Christ. But if you are not willing to at least listen to us, then you're not going to understand. And the Lord is coming back. Jesus is coming back. That is the main focus. And the Lord says, do not lose your faith and your trust in him when things get a little rocky, when things get a little shaky. You make sure that your hope and your faith and your trust is not put in man. It's not put in your job. It's not put in what things that you're able to go and buy. It's not put in... Uh, how nice your house is going to look for Christmas. It's not put in how many things you can put on your dinner table at Thanksgiving. Please listen to me. The Lord is speaking. He said that this is a time like no other, that we are about to enter into a greater time of tribulation. The Lord also says that do not get tribulation confused with God's wrath. I do not know why I'm hearing that, but do not uh, get confused that tribulation comes from God. Oh my, we are getting a word. Do not get confused that tribulation comes from God. Do not get confused, brothers and sisters. Do not get con confused that tribulation. The Lord says that we would have trials and tribulation until he returns. That we, as the body of Christ, those that he has called faithful and chosen, we are going to come out of this. We are putting on the full armor of God and we are marching forward. Now I'm going to read for you because the Holy Spirit is saying Psalm 91. Psalm 91. And I'm going to let the Holy Spirit and the words of the word of God speak to you right now. But I, before I read this, I'm going to say, make sure that you are ready. Make sure that you are like the ant. Look up the scripture in the Bible. I believe it's in Psalm or Proverbs that the ant works diligently daily. Even when he's got what he needs, he continues to work for there will be a time. And I don't know how the verse goes, but I know that it's in the Bible. We're going to be like the ant. We're not going to be like the sluggard. We're going to continue to move forward. Even when things seem heavy, even when things seem uh, we're downtrodden, we're sick in body, we're going to overcome. We are going to be overcomers. Satan, we're going to overcome Satan by the testimony of by their testimony, they overcame Satan. So the wiles of Satan, the devices that he's using right now, they are heavy, they are strong, and they are against you, brother and sister. So if you're feeling pressed in, if you're feeling shaken, you should. You should because there's things that are still coming. Do I hope that the Lord would come and snatch us out and we don't have to see anything? Yes, I would desire that. But do I believe that some of my brothers and sisters are just asleep? That they're just asleep and they need to be awakened. The Lord says that do you not know that this is the time to be awakened? This is not the time to continue to, to, to dream of things and to store up treasures on this earth. This is the time to awake from any slumber. This is the time to awake to being filled with the Holy Spirit. This is the time to put on the full armor of God. The Holy Spirit is speaking. Please listen to the message. The Lord is saying, this has been the calm before the storm. And we know what happens. Uh, people come in and they run to an area that's been affected. But whatever's coming, brothers and sisters, listen to me. Whatever's coming, transportation will be hindered. Food will not be on shelves because transportation is hindered. There is a great earthquake coming. I don't know exactly when it's coming. There is an asteroid that will hit 
east coast causing the tsunami. I don't know when that is going to hit. But let me tell you right now through the Holy Spirit that you have got to, as the body, stay prepared for anything. Man-made weather. Stay prepared. The Lord is saying that he's raising up his army. That he's going to strengthen us. That he's going to give us. He's going to provide for us. He is going to, just as he gave the Israelites manna to eat, he is going to give us manna if that is what we need. But most importantly, the Holy Spirit is saying, get grounded and get rooted in this word because this is the sword and you're not going to be able to fight the enemy without having the sword already in your heart, in your mind. We're going to be circumcised. Hopefully you're already a little circumcised, but let me tell you, listen to what I'm saying. This United States of America will be attacked after a great calamity. This United States of America will be attacked. Uh, your idols will fall. The Holy Spirit has already said it. The Lord says that everything that has been prophesied will come to pass and it will come to pass quickly. But those who are not grounded, those who are not rooted in my holy word saith the Lord, you will be weak, you will stumble, and you will fall. You will be deceived by the enemy. And the Lord loves you enough to send people like me that say, keep your eye on the sparrow. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep pressing forward. That means to pray right now. Get ready for this battle. Get ready for this war. You are an army being prepared to go to war. Listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying. We are the army and we are rising up. We have got angels on our side. We have got Jesus Christ on our side. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. That means that Satan's not going to do anything that we can't overcome. Who worships the beast? Those whose names were not written in the Lamb's book of life. But hallelujah, my name along with your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. If you have turned away from sin, if you stay repentant before the holy God because you know that he is uh, awesome and worthy and he is to be feared uh, a reverent fear not a fear that we're scared and we run away but a reverent fear we are children of God chosen faithful to the end and we are going to use the mighty sword now I'm going to read for you Psalm 91 is as he that declareth or dwelleth in the secret place of the most high now that is when you go into your prayer closet or when you pray and nobody's watching. When you are praising him when nobody's watching. Because it's easy to do it in the church. But the Lord is speaking right now that there are some of you that call yourself children of God. And yet you will not even praise and worship him even in his church building. But he desires for us to be, we are his temple. And therefore he inhabits the praises of his people. So he is looking for us to to praise and to worship him right now while things are still okay because there's going to come a shaking a great awakening a time of shaking the holy spirit is saying that you have got to be strong his army has got to be strong enough to lead those who are weak but in that leading of them being weak Brothers and sisters, we are bringing them in. You are helping with the great harvest and then tribulation, great tribulation as no man has ever seen will befall upon this earth. It is something that we cannot fathom. But I'm not going to forget what the Lord says. Don't get tribulation confused with God's wrath because it is not the same. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. So he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. And that is it. We have got to have our trust in Him and no other. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. He is going to deliver us from, from, listen, and from the noisome pestilence, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Oh my, shield and buckler. I think that might be a whole message. I'll have to look at that. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. 
nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. And I will stop right there. God bless you. God bless you. I hope that you've listened to the warning once again. If you do not know things that have been prophesied, go ahead and look at some. Uh, maybe they're a year old by now. But I'm going to watch the video that talks about Christmas. And I know that it's the American flag uh, up on the video that I put it on. And I know it was last year. And I was saying, are we even going to have Christmas? I'm going to remind you, too, that President, former President Obama has said that he there is a war on Christmas. I know many of you don't believe that he is uh, <clears throat> coming back into power. But actually, he's never left. He has a great following. And I want you to be paying attention to what he is doing behind the scenes. Also, I want you to be paying attention to Iran and Turkey. Uh, they are joining or are, are going to make an alliance. I know that it is Russia that will attack America. But I also know that they only come to attack us after a great devastation because we are Israel's ally. And if we are their ally and they hinder us, they break us. They uh, cripple us. I know there will be martial law. I know that people are going to be taken into captivity. And I also know that the mark of the beast comes right after this great calamity. Also, I'm going to tell you again, do not trust Red Cross and FEMA after this horrible devastation that takes place. Uh, there is an agenda, and it is the mark of the beast. Uh, it is a tracking device, and it will change your DNA. So I'm going to try to end the video, guys, but I know that there are things coming. I know that uh, the Great Lakes, you know, it's like they become one. There's water that go goes all the way up to the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina. Um, I have received some information about the Madrid Fault. I have been raised above the United States of America, the map, and I know that it is split. I know that a horrible earthquake a breaking off of the state of california occurs i don't know that i'm seeing things that are coming during uh, the shaking of the whole world meaning that the lord's trying to wake people up even during his wrath that could be but i am telling you what the holy spirit has told me and reminded me again today this is the calm before the storm stay prepared keep at least 30 days of canned food water on hand because you do not know you are not in control but god is if he has not told you to do that then maybe you're going to be taken in one of these devastating events but the lord has told me to prepare i also know uh that i'm not fearful and i'm not to worry about it but i am to do what he has told me to do so uh, as a watchman i'm not a prophet i have just been called a handmaiden which means the holy spirit speaks clearly 
I need to be closer to him. There are days that I do not even, I say, Lord, I mean, I'm speaking to the Lord, but there are days that I go and it is the end of the day before I read any scripture. And the Lord wants us to be so close to him that we desire to read scripture daily, that we desire to praise him daily, that we worship him in everything that we do. At this time, do not let anyone or anything be before God. I'm speaking to myself as well as you. God will have first place or no place at all. And so we need to be better and diligent about seeking the Lord. And if you do that, God bless you. But you have a greater thing to do if you've been doing this. Pray for the body of Christ that we may be strengthened. Pray for the leaders for they are making decisions right now that press towards war. Pray for our political uh, systems and the things that are being announced to cause division here in America of civil unrest. Pray against that enemy in the name of Jesus. I also am going to speak to somebody right now that you are sick in body. The enemy has attacked you. The enemy is attacking the believer in their body. Let us watch what we are putting in our mouth. And I'm receiving this from the Holy Spirit. Watch what we are putting in our mouth. Some of us cannot, some people cannot just buy a whole food. But we really need to be watching what we're putting in our mouth. If you are able to exercise right now, the Lord has been pressing on me to get the physical body in shape. Doesn't mean muscles. It just means stay in a, a shape, meaning that you can climb a flight of stairs without uh, getting out of breath. Um, so I just believe that things are coming. I know the one thing that surely is going to happen is that the Lord is coming. No man knows the day nor the hour, but we are not children of the dark. We are children of the day. We are children of the light, and we know that this is the season of the Lord's return. Whether it be at the end or by the end of 2017, or whether it be 2018 or beyond, we know that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming. Sin is rising at a, a rapid pace. The Holy Spirit constantly shows me things that I know nothing about. Taylor Swift video being one of them. Uh, go and watch that. It is about her. It's time for the new me or something. I don't see. I don't, I don't listen to that, but um, I do know that that, it, that video has a lot to do with uh, Satan and the attack uh, for your soul. And so it is like sweet Taylor Swift laying herself down and what arises is something that is not of God. So listen to me, brothers and sisters, pay attention, be careful with new technology, be careful because the longer the Lord tarries, let me tell you what the Holy Spirit reveals. We are being watched through our camera lens. We are being watched through our televisions. We are being watched by the cameras that are on our freeways. We are being watched by the cameras that are posted in large cities looking down upon you. And they even have audio on the American population. We are being watched Far more than what we think we are. Every time we do Facebook, we do Pinterest, we do YouTube, there is a profile that is on every person of the world. And they know, meaning the enemy, the Antichrist, Satan, the beast, that system, they know who you are. They know if you're a believer. They already know if you follow the narrow path. So... I'm not saying be fearful. I'm saying be smart. And there may come a time that we're not on YouTube trying to put out the messages. But while we are, because the Lord hasn't said stop putting out the word. While we are, uh, let us keep going about and telling about Jesus Christ. Because Jesus is real and he is coming. And if you do not believe in Jesus, please listen to me. And I know you probably not listened this whole video if you don't believe in Jesus. But if you're not right with God right now, if you know that there is sin in your mortal body, the Lord always has told me, do not. He says, warn my children, warn my children that have been baptized through water, that there, there is a greater baptism through his spirit. There is something called
called a baptism of the Holy Spirit. The Lord says to seek him right now on bended knee to ask him for his Holy Spirit. That Holy Spirit gives you power to endure. The Holy Spirit gives you spiritual eyes to see the demonic activity that is all around the world. The spiritual ability to hear in the spirit uh, we need these things. So if you have only been baptized in water and you do not know what I'm talking about, most of the time there is an evidence of speaking in tongues, but everybody doesn't receive the gift of tongue. And so don't feel bad if you're thinking, well, I've been baptized in water, but I've never been baptized. I don't know what you're talking about, Sister Mary. Read the Holy Word. And the more we put of God's Word in our mortal body, the more we put of God inside, the less of Satan will be, the less temptation we not that you won't be tempted but the less that you will be tempted to fall because if you listen it's a balancing scale God's got to be up here and if it's twisted if Satan is up here if you're in love with the things of the world more than you are with God you are going to be weak because you're down here you don't have your whole armor on so you've been water baptized and that's it you go to church you sit on a pew you don't read your Bible listen you're weak you're weak those who read their Bible those who speak in tongues oh my goodness those who speak in tongues listen to me right now because the holy spirit is speaking he says you must be born again of my spirit it is more than a man-made water baptism it the water baptism is only a confession and, and, and a profession out to the public that the old man is buried and he comes back up raised anew but the lord is saying right now for you to be raised anew oh my goodness the lord is speaking for for you to be, you're a new creature once you're baptized, once you ask the Lord into your heart. And this is those that have time to do all of this. The man, Because the Holy Spirit is reminding me that the man, uh, that there was a man over here, Barnabas or Barabbas, and then there was a man over here. So they were all hung on the cross. The Lord laid down his life for you and I for our sin. The Lord is saying you've got to press in toward him right now, that you've got to get all of him right now, that there is more of him to to uh, get and those, we're on different levels. But the Lord is telling me to tell you this, that if you've just been water baptized and that's it, he wants you to start reading the word of God daily. He wants you to be praying daily to him because he's got to strengthen you and the more of his spirit that you get in your body uh, because it's a fallen body it's a sinful nature and the way that we do that we are a new creature in Christ when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior but the devil is still real and he is here going to and fro on this earth to see who he can devour and you are weak if you do not have on the full armor of God meaning your faith is it can be weak uh, my goodness, the Lord is speaking. If you've only been water baptized, this is what the Lord has told or said to me right now. And I'm saying it to you. So what you do with it is off of my hands. But if you've only been water baptized and, and if you're not in a church right now, because now the Lord's talking to me, some of you are not even going to church right now. You are, you are, you are thinking that it's okay to just read your Bible and it is okay to read your Bible. But if you are physically able to attend a church, because let me tell you what the Lord just showed me, empty pews. Oh my goodness. The Lord is showing me empty pews. The Lord is showing me empty parking lots and you call yourself a believer, but yet you are in your pajamas on Sunday morning and you read the word of God, but it is in your own interpretation oh my goodness you need to get ask the lord for forgiveness nick sunday is coming sunday is coming do not forget to assemble yourselves together for the the believing that is a scripture too don't not assemble yourselves together even if it is a small gathering in your home and you have somebody bring forth the word and then you pray and you worship god you've done it you've done it you've done it so if it's the building that that uh, frightens you or it's just church people then get together with family get together with friends but the lord is saying right now that those who are sitting on your couches those that are laying in your bed now if you're bedridden that's totally different but you better make sure that you're listening to uh pastors and it's hard to discern to discern which pastors on television to be watching right now but there are pastors and the holy spirit will tell you which ones to watch i'm not going to adore 
endorse one or the other. But I am telling you, there are great teachers still uh, out there with a message. And right now, the Lord is, uh, he's given his body the ability to speak forth his word and to help those who are lost or help those that have strayed to get back on the straight and the narrow. The Lord says that we have to be on the straight and the narrow. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's without sin. So don't get me wrong there. But the difference in the body of the believer, the group, man, they are repentant. If if I fail, I say, Lord, forgive me. And I don't hesitate. I go back to my brother and sister that I may have wounded. I go back to a young person or whatever that I may have said something to. And I say, forgive me because see I don't want to be uh, here in unforgiveness or bitterness please don't have any bitterness in your body right now because the Lord really has been speaking to me about people are harboring feelings right now and the Lord is saying that his his take up his yoke because it's light he's going to hold your burden for you but you've got to do your part oh my goodness chains are on people right now I'm seeing things in the spirit some of you um, have you're toting uh, baggage and weight and it's just weighing you down there is you know I was talking about people feeling tired and downtrodden and the Lord is showing me that we're carrying weights we're carrying the weight of the world and we're carrying it on our shoulders when this thing is about done we don't have time to be worried about things we don't have time to be worried about a bill do the best you can work every day pay what you can but uh, and that doesn't mean don't pay your bills but I'm saying there is a greater thing here. And if, if this shaking comes, the last thing you're going to be worried about is that you didn't uh, get this or that because it's not going to be there to get. You need to make sure before you go and spend for Christmas that you've got the 30 days worth of food, that you've got 30 days worth of water, that you are filling up water in jugs, okay? That you are staying mentally, physically, and spiritually prepared for things that could come because the Lord says you are not in control. And I'm just trying to, to warn you to not put your trust in the amount of money you've got in your bank. Don't put your trust in starting your car and going to work and getting a check on Friday because your world is going to change overnight. And I know that that has been in a message that I've heard before. The Whatever is coming, it is going to change just like that. And if it's the rapture that's taking place and then, you know, God's wrath is being poured out and people, you know, but for some reason in my spirit, I feel like we are still here for a little bit. It's not a testing for us, but it is Satan just pressing against the body. All right, so I've read to you Psalm 91. Uh, I want to make sure that before I end the video that I've told you what to do through what the Holy Spirit told me to do. But after you have been water baptized, first of all, if, you, if you're not a believer and you've stuck with me through this video and you're saying, uh, I'm not a believer, but I know that Jesus is real. Okay, I've heard about him. And I believe you. There's things going on in the world. I believe y'all. Y'all are on to something. Yeah, Jesus is coming back. That's what we're on to. Jesus is coming back. We are of the bride. We are the wise virgins. We are hearing for the Lord, from the Lord, but we are also watching and we're waiting. And we hear him in our spirit. You feel that unctioning that something is just not right. Well, no, because see, Satan, he, he's, he's the enemy and he... He would like for you to not repent and he would like for you to not believe in God so that God's wrath can be poured out. But when God's wrath is poured out, listen to me, when God's wrath is poured out, it is for the unbeliever. It is in his love and in his mercy that he's going to pour out wrath that those who will come to their senses, that those who will, and I believe you'll die a martyr's death, but just listen. Uh, because the world, they're going to be against you. If you claim to know Jesus Christ after, I believe, he takes up the body, uh, you might as well be ready to lay down your life because I believe that's what it's going to come to. But listen, I believe that you are going to see the transformation of people that you know that uh, are believers. You don't have to watch it. You can be a part of it. And the way you do it, this, and what I'm trying to say is, I know that the whole world is going to know that a rapture took place. They're going to know that there are millions, millions, billions, I don't know, of people missing. They're just going to know it. Uh, the world is going to be turned upside down. 
when this thing happens, those that have, the, a seed has been planted, I believe that you're going to start calling out to Jesus. You're going to realize that you put all your trust and your, all your hope in the world and you realize that you needed Christ the Savior. So you're going to fall to your knees. You're going to uh, ask him into your heart and then you're going to live for him, but it may be to the death. But if it's not, there's um, people who are still here for the millennium reign so because see i'm going up that's the story i'm believing i'm going up to come back with christ and we're going to defeat satan for for good so let me get back to this because this is the way my brain works if you've only been water baptized the lord says that there's something else called the holy spirit baptism and what you do is do exactly what i told you to do you get in the word every single day and you read even if you read for 15 minutes read the word of god and um what i could do to make sure i'm reading first thing in the morning is start putting on a word okay just a quick word and then we'll just it'll be a 15 minute video it'll be gone if that's easier for you but the lord desires for you to read okay the lord doesn't want you just getting your messages off of tv and youtube he wants you to read he wants you to study his word he wants you to ask him questions and he will tell you through another person or he will tell you in your spirit what it means because god is the creator you must be born of his spirit you must be born of his spirit. If you are being a drunkard right now, if you are on drugs, if you are uh, sexual immorality because it's rampant, if you are having a struggle with pornography right now, if, if you're a thief right now, if you uh, have committed a murder, if, you're, if you've had an abortion, any of that stuff, the Lord, this is the time to get right with God. This is the time to lay all of that aside. Lay all sin and shame aside and run into the arms of Jesus. That is what the Lord is saying right now. His arms are open wide for you. He laid down his life and no greater love does a brother have for his uh, brethren, brethren than to lay down his life. And Christ paid the only price that will ever have to be paid for you. So don't feel like you've gotten too far away from God that you can't be forgiven because you can. The only thing that you're not forgiven for, of course, if you die in sin, do not die in sin repent and how you repent is say lord forgive me of this and help me to not do it again and don't intentionally go out and do it again okay so that's how you are repentant the other thing with the spiritual baptism is get in the word of god and then find a church body that you can be a part of because see the world sees empty pews right now the world sees empty parking lots right now of church buildings they're there are uh, chains around doors right now. The Lord just showed me two two glass doors, and chains are around church doors. Uh, grass has grown up in the in the parking lot and in the yards. And the world says, "Man, this God thing's not real because people are turning away." But you know what? The Bible also says that in the end times there will be scoffers and mockers, and there will be people who they they will grow cold, and there will be a love of money, and they will wax cold. Uh, towards the things of God because see they have no need for God man I've sit here and preached an entire message if you have come to the Lord let me know if you have asked the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart let me know uh, so that I can share with everyone else and that is a wonderful thing if you have asked God into your heart if you've asked for forgiveness hallelujah that means you're you're turned away from backslidden let me know that too uh, I'm going to be praying for you and I know that there's lots of you that ask for prayer and believe me I don't comment to everything because sometimes there's over a thousand or nine hundred comments and I just can't get to everybody but what you need to know is that I do kind of scroll down and look and so when you leave me a comment and if you're a naysayer, I just go past you anyway and pray for you. I call out your name that you be saved before God pours out his wrath. But also, if you're praying or if you're asking for prayer that you're sick in body, I hear I hear that. I've prayed for you. Uh, if you're asking for financial, uh, you don't know what to do. I've prayed over that too. If 